who is using here AI for, for having fun with your smart contracts today? Someone? One, two, okay, that, that's perfect. My talk today is about some uh, enhancing security with AI. It's not a workshop because we have just a small time for doing the presentation today, but giving you ideas about what you can do with AI to improve your smart contracts. Because, well, we know a lot of hacks are happening in our space all the time, all the time. Many, many millions of dollars being stolen, hacked, frozen. And uh, we have uh, here some of the security challenges on Web3. We, we have problems on governance attack, uh, DAOs, the DAOs. We have a lot of problems of people having control of many votes and then manipulating what they can do on DAOs. And most of times they are getting a lot of money from the treasury. It's a big problem. Phishing attacks we, we see every day. Every day someone is receiving some email uh, asking people to go to some place and uh, connect to the wallet and then they get everything stolen. It happens all the time. Price Oracle manipulation is a huge problem as well. People are manipulating because oracles, they are, some of the oracles, they are pretty weak. Then they can go to the oracle, manipulate the price of the oracle, like making this, the token price smaller than it should be. Then they go to some DeFi and retrieve, do some transaction and retrieve a lot of tokens because they manipulated the oracle. Uh, stolen private key and key and hashes, it happens all the time as well. We saw some case of the uh, multi-chain in China. The CEO was like in prison. We don't know. He disappeared. He disappeared. So what they are saying, the CEO was like in prison by the Chinese government. Then the multi-chain was like running without the CEO. Then something happened in the, in the chain. Some uh, vulnerable was exploited and some people started to drain all the funds of the, the, the multi-chain. And then they discovered the CEO had the, he was the only guy with the keys to do updates or managing the smart contracts. Then multi-chain died because of one guy, he, because of his disappearing. And another thing is, is like people stealing keys. Uh, they are storing keys in very weak places. We got a, a, a case in Brazil two, two months ago, probably. The guy, he was storing all the keys on a notepad on his desktop. And he was live streaming. And then he was showing some people to, oh, I have that, that wallet let me open that wallet because of that, code, that token. Then he opened the, the notepad during the live stream. All the tokens were, were drained, for sure, immediately. And it happens all the time for, with a lot of people. Reward manipulation is pretty similar to price or manipulation and governance attack. People are manipulating the DeFi to get more rewards than he should. And access control, weak access control, or not validating enough if the person can execute that thing or not. Hacks from the faulty contract logic and hacks from the poor input checking. Both can be solved with AI as well. And re-entrancy attack. We had the first re-entrancy attack in the DAO 2016, a lot of years ago. And it's happening yet, today, in many platforms. We are evaluating. People should learn how to not do that kind of thing. But sometimes we know the, the contract is pretty complex. It's hard to like predict what will happen next. Then retrance attacks is happening. It's bad because some, something is being executed without the order. And sometimes they are just like uh, withdrawing tokens without the, the verification if he could withdraw the tokens being, uh, being executed. Then AI can help in that thing as well. And here, the top 10 losses in 2023. 
like two, two mil, uh, 200 million dollars in mixing network and uh, even KyberSwap was hacked last year. How AI can help cybersecurity in general, not just for Web3, but in general? AI can help in threat detection. It's pretty important because it has the ability to process a lot of, a lot, a lot of data to try to identify and predict what can happen next. Incident response, if it detected something, it can start the controls to try to, try to mitigate the problem because it already happened, but it, it should start some controls. We'll talk after the problems with AI controlling or managing uh, things, but we can, it can even, uh, for example, it can at least, not even, but it can at least uh, start or trigger an alert to the cybersecurity team, take a decision and do something. Risk management, it could assess everything on your platform and on your data and try to do some prediction about what could happen next. Uh, phishing detection is pretty important because it can detect it if it's a phishing, when people are receiving the email, when they are con trying to connect on your platform, it could try to understand what is happening because the phishing emails, they are pretty similar most of times. And AI could detect everything or almost everything and then uh, like deny the access or not enable the person to do the action he's trying to do. One platform who is trying to use AI and other tools is Rebby Wallet. Who is using Rebby Wallet instead of MetaMask here? One, two. You should use Rebby Wallet because it's better for try it's trying to predict what is happening when you are transferring tokens and MetaMask doesn't show the thing. Reb is better in, in that field. And anom anomaly detection. Something that, that was not supposed to happen is happening. And it could uh, enable our system to, to verify and mitigate fraudulent activities as well. Then we can leverage the AI techniques, techniques for Web3. We can use neural networks we can use machine learning, and you can use even NLP all together or separately, one by one. Neural networks, they are good. I will show uh, uh, the next one here. It's like, who doesn't know about a neural network? It seems like this. We have the input layer. It connects to all the nodes, all the, it's, it's like the, the it's like a neural network as well. Then we have you have hidden layers doing all the verification and everything, even on different networks. Then you have the output layer who is delivering the output information, denying or allowing something to happen. It's pretty important to build something to connect and have interoperability with your other networks. Because sometimes okay, you can start doing something on your own platform, but Connecting to many platforms and many sources of data is better. Let's go back a little. Machine learning. Machine learning connected to neural networks is pretty important because that hidden layer I was showing, it could be like empowered by machine learning. The decision taking or it may be signalizing something is getting wrong with AI could be better instead of just if something is happening, consistent the thing. Okay, my time is running. Yeah, okay. Then uh, using machine learning is better. And NLP, we can say just like chat GPT or some, or some G GPT for auditing your smart contracts. And okay, here we have examples of neural networks for fraud detection, smart contracts, integrity, risk assessment, and even enhanced encryption techniques. Applications. I, I, I brought two applications, very easy. Anomaly detection and, well, well, AI can detect like some kind of transactions that should not be happening on your platform. And you can prevent 
like a potential large, large scale fraud. And the second one, auditing your smart contracts with AI. You can use GPT or NLP and machine learning to scan your uh, smart contracts and identify many, many kinds of vulnerabilities before deployment and even after the deployment, better before. One example, this platform, this is a screenshot of Chain GPT. They built Chain GPT already. It's a, you, can, you don't need to use that kind of thing. You can use Chat GPT for doing the auditing on your code. But some people built a platform for scanning and analyzing your smart contracts on chain after deployment. Then it can tell you like, oh, lack of access control for minting. It's huge because people can go there and mint like an unlimited number of tokens on your platform. And, uh, and the tool detected that, that kind of thing. It's pretty easy to, to build something just to detect or analyze your smart contracts. Uh, some comparisons here. Having AI, you can have a lot of vulnerability patterns covered. Or you can have a human very limited by the company competence. You need to rely on the company competence. The time pretty less using AI and it can save you many hours of like updating the system after uh, deploying because if it was detected after, you know the pain of uh, updating smart contracts. The cost is minimal. False positives, it's very important to talk about false positives, I'll talk later. Um, human consultation, maybe you can have a human specialized or not. And the business log logic check, then in this part, you need a human. AI is not able totally yet to analyze your business uh, model and everything you have in your company. Something is private and AI will have access just to the thing they were trained. Cons of using AI, false positives, happens a lot, happens a lot. Even using ChatGPT, sometimes the platform goes crazy. You can't rely on any information they are producing. And they are lack of the ability to fully, fully understand the context and the intent behind the smart contract code. Because some, sometimes you are doing something very complex, you should not, but some people are building complex things on smart contracts. It should be simple and easy and fast to see what's happening over there, very clear. But people are, sometimes it's needed to build something more complex and the AI is not prepared to understand everything. Because as I said, it understands just what it was trained. Uh, adversarial attacks. People can manipulate the input to the, smart, to the AI. They can manipulate the AI. Then you could have problems if you rely just on AI to tell you if something is going wrong. Sometimes just uh, triggering alerts or notifying you is better than making AI doing actions with your smart contracts. And rely on training data. Another problem because sometimes training data is biased, it's incomplete or outdated and inaccurate as well. So AI power tools should complement smart contract auditing, not replace manual audits. Ethical concerns, privacy implications, because you need to train the AI with real data about what's happening, then you should be aware about what kind of data you are feeding the AI. Potential for data manipulation, because you can put a lot of bias, and if someone is not working very well on your company and starts to put bad information in the AI to be very badly trained, and then when you execute the thing, it will do the wrong thing. And we got the North Koreans from Lazarus, they were putting a lot of people on the DeFi space and tech companies in the DeFi space to manipulate a lot of code and information where companies are using AI to try to understand what's happening. And accountability. Who is the responsible for alerting or not alerting something 
the AI, the company, you. And when I was looking for ethical issues with a, of AI, I, it was a Google uh, research I did, then they gave me this table with a lot of things of ethical issues of AI. It's uh, from Google. I just printed the thing and added here because there's a lot of things to see. Future trends, predictive AI for blockchain forensics. I, I see a lot of space for this kind of thing yet. Uh, you can anticipate or mitigate future secret threats. For identity verification, you can use AI for identity verification processes. Better if you have a neural network connected to many dots, and if the person is authenticated on one place, you can have a score for authenticating person on other places, connecting all the dots. Uh, AI-driven encryption models. It's very interesting. Just a few people is working on that kind of thing. AI can decide to improve the encryption of some system depending on what it, it detected. So you can have AI taking some decision. Don't rely a lot of decision on AI, but you can have AI driving those kind of decisions and integrating the future. You can integrate, I don't know, quantum computers in the future, IOTs, and what's happening in the future. Questions? That was my presentation. Thank you very much. And then we have a space, five minutes probably, for our presentation. Uh, questions. Any questions? Don't be shy. Yeah. Can, can, do, does he need to use the microphone to be recorded? Yes. Yeah, okay. Please. Thank you. Uh, what do you think you can, we can teach AI to like, recognize uh, like, um, so security failure? Because we need to have uh, like some data or some, mm -hmm. like some case where something happened, and where, where do we find those data? Or, uh, for example, to trade the. Okay. AI today, it can detect on a very specific like, chain of, of events. You need to get all the events of hacking, of bad transactions, transactions doing like sandwich attacks, transactions draining funds from a smart contract, transactions doing something wrong. You, can, you, you need to have a lot of data in that field to train your, your AI for that thing specifically. For training for smart contracts, you need to train another model, uh, feeding the machine learning with threats and vulnerabilities and, and cases of re-entrancy re attacks. So each model should be specialized in one kind of, or, or one vertical of the security you are trying to apply. It's possible that, okay, it's for transactions on my DeFi, you need to get all the transactions in the space or try to find the hacks and find the transaction where the hacks happened to feed, to train your AI with that information. Then something, when some transaction is happening, even on the main pool, because then you run your node, you, uh, you have the main pool where the transactions are before being executed by a miner or validator, depending on the network, then it can predict, oh, it will happen on my, my platform or another platform because it saw something happening before. The machine learning can have that memory better. Okay? Did it answer? Yes. Okay, good. A any other questions? Yeah. I have a question about... Want to use this, please? Thanks. I have a question about the problem that arises when you're dealing with new innovation or with innovation in general in the space. And AI, and generally speaking, also human competence, sort of relies on past examples and mistakes to yeah. make sure that um, in the future incidents of the like not repeat. And I was wondering, what would you say about the unknown unknowns, let's say, in the in design of infrastructure and making sure that you take into account that there might be issues that you simply cannot predict, both in 
general, generally speaking, cybersecurity as well as the design of the, of the platform itself? Yeah. That, that's a pretty good one. In cybersecurity, we, we name it, it's like a zero day. It's a zero day happening on, on uh, zero days of vulnerability that was not exposed before. So and no, no one was aware about what was happening. It's pretty hard to detect zero days. That's why they exist. And uh, you can train to predict something similar. So maybe some of the, the behavior they are executing will lead to some, to exploit some vulnerability. The AI can help, can help, can really help because it can predict faster than a human. Instead of doing ifs and else in your platform, AI could try to predict that thing. But zero days is pretty hard for the entire market. And even exist, exists a market for zero days. The, they have on the, the deep web, in the dark net, they have a lot of uh, dark markets for selling that, those kind of zero days. And um, it's pretty hard, it's pretty hard. So using AI to predict something because the behavior was similar, okay, and because it's faster and it's very reliable, but all the AIs, they just predict because they were trained with data, existing data. So it's pretty hard. It's a, like a gray area of the AI. It was not totally solved. Maybe when we achieve AGI, the general uh, intelligence, maybe, but we are not even closer to that yet. And, and, and uh, Google said next year we will have AGI. I don't know. They are investing like $100 billion to try to reach AGI. Maybe with AGI. Maybe, but we, we can't say. Okay, any other question? Okay guys, so before ending the thing, I just released a book. I invite everyone to, to have a copy or find a copy on Amazon if you want. It's the uh, Chronicles of Code Guardians, of the Code Guardians, The Origin of Titan. It's a, a Bitcoin journey of a young guy. He was a trader and learned a lot on, in our space. It's a fiction. It's not a very technical thing, but it teaches a lot and has a lot of Easter eggs. I, I, I think you'll like it. And that's it. Thank you very much.